All right. So we've, we've gone deep into their secret life. Um, I take it I'm not done here. Okay. Join us. Introduce yourself and stick around. Fucked. Guy preyed on troubled kids. Made habit to target boys like Randy. This is my fault. If I just paid more attention. Just talked with him more. Hey, come on. You're not the one to blame here. Introduce yourself and stick around. I know who you are. You're the boy that's been rejected by society. Left to fend for himself. Misunderstood by his family and deprived of real friends. I was once like you. You can stay here as long as you like. Because you just found your new home. I have a secret, special treatment. Uh, that'll not only get you back on your feet, but will also free up that weight from your mind and shoulders. Make you limitless. Everything you need to bust out of your shackles. You'll find them in my haven. You'll become superhuman. Resistant to sickness. Strong. Healthy. Invincible. But before you do that, how about we get to know each other first? Shoot over a message at Anthony34. Remember, you're one of the chosen ones. Mmm. So then our guy got his girlfriend into this, so she could be also kidnapped now, potentially. That wasn't his goal, but that's that might be what's happening now. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. The name. It wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that. Hey, look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Get Harris's IP address. Oh boy. So we have this file, which is creepy as well. The thing that we can play that to get to him. <clears throat> Contact us. We probably can't just rip it out of the thing because, yeah, it's our skill. Nope. I need to be a lot better at this. That kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. So she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, eh, come on. Let's grab a bite. Let's go get our drink then. Um. Oh, it turned it. Oh, no, it's back on. Yeah, can I turn that off? I don't want. Alright, well. Joss more than we need to, huh? It's just rude We're to leave it trail. on. We'll know more tomorrow. But that's it. And it makes it really clear that we were here. Well, RPG protagonists are so inconsiderate. Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers. Yeah, boogers. Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed then. We left for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. What is that? Tell me you found something. Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him? Kids? 
Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. You just dropped the fork directly in the sauce! River, tell me and be honest. Will you find him? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Uh oh. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if he takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Sure, it's just I could get stuff done in the meantime. Of course I'll stay. <laughs> Find your way, all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Find your way, all right, to the room we were just in, yeah. Hang in there, Joss. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed, the father of my children. Um, I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk, raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. How'd he die? Thael de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Let's, um, change the subject. Thinking back about, was a scorpion that died during the attack with the Alticados? Wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. Damn, you transferred that wirelessly? I figured there's probably a ton of data in one of these things, right? That dock of yours is quick, not bad. Life simulation. with you, Anthony. I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died, I understand, but that is no excuse. Fuck 
you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. A weird amount of exposed midriff there. Is it the same kid repeating over and over again? Oh, they're freaking me out. Is, is it, are they all one kid? Don't Look. you dare talk about my dad! That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick. Weak. I just wanted to help him. Um... Right, here's where we have to remember that this is a dream, not a memory. <laughs> wow, that got fucking weird. I was like, damn, this guy's saying some shit that I don't think you could just say as a counselor. What's wrong with you? Like, running off. He's gonna stab him with a fork. Yeah, I think they're all the same. Oh, yeah, that, that one's wearing the mask that, that the cow was wearing, which is fucking creepy, too. But yeah, every kid here is him over and over again. Drugs are bad. Oh, I recognize this shooting. It was a case study back at the academy. Give me a sec to check which school that was. Memorial of the 2044 bend. school shooting. Uh, looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, ah. At least we know the general area where Harris lived. Guess that'd be that. So we have a connection. We have a connection to um, Judy's storyline. That wasn't just a one-off thing. Apparently, you can see something right now. It's just him, right? Because he's like always in line of sight. Teacher, cheap, well-worn clothes, Night City, mid 2040s. Trophy, old one, dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's do a full restart. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. Not getting much on the heat. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat. Stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. Why are you checking on the HGH? No problem. Not getting much here. It says go to the next layer of the brain dance. Next section. Help. Help. Where am I? I couldn't figure out where it was. Don't you dare talk about my dad. Who was that? Why is it glowing? Why is the backpack so hot? Praising. Why is that backpack so hot? Are we going to see him transform into a cow? The lights turn out, turn off, and there's a cow. A creepy mask on. He was sick, weak. I just wanted to help him. Do I close? Is that how I get to the next section? It's just, just separate levels. We've never done that before. Tony, where are you going now? Come in. Harris looks even younger here. What do you see? This guy? It 
don't see that. Cow's sick, like the rest. I can only scan him from that side. Coming! Yep. <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Looks like a cattle bio scanner it's for checking vitals. Oh, that's trippy. I asked you a question. I I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um, too low. You were supposed to check before school. What do you gotta say for yourself? How's gonna die because of you? You gotta kill it like you killed your mama. I I'm sorry. Don't apologize, just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon. How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off. Does he not know how to turn off himself? That's embarrassing. Isn't the whole cartoon just that one little loop? No, there's just, there's just no cows now, after the pestilence. I thought the I didn't think the cartoon existed back then. I thought it was like a like because especially when it has the farmer meanly slapping the the cow. It's like it seemed like it was referencing back to his own abuse. Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. I spent trying to turn that shit off. Oh, the person vanished. Is he gonna throw it? No, he just has to stand on it. Ah, that's our cartoon. Little Tony really seemed to love it. Guess that'd be that. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Time is paused right now. But the cartoon keeps going when time is paused. Like, look at the counter. Like, it's not moving. That's why I was confused about whether I was paused or not at various moments, because the cartoon would keep moving regardless. Which is really weird. What is scannable here? This book? Am I just supposed to notice the cartoon which they already commented on? Was that the thing? But yeah, I guess the, uh... The cartoon always had to be in this part of the memory. Because that was going to be why he's getting called back to this particular memory by the cartoon. TV apparently it's really shitty in the future. Because it's just one, a whole cartoon will just be like a 30 second loop.
What the fuck? Okay, so he's keeping he's keeping his victims in the same building where they used to slaughter the cows. Oop. So that guy crawling away. I think this might be the place to be. Got some cables. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Wow, good find, V. Got some cables. Got a clock. An hour to midnight. You must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Is he Peter Pan because he never wants to leave Neverland? Fuck me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. What I'm hearing? Trash barge. That's the signal to dump. Has to be a landfill nearby. He can't walk. His legs are still on, at least. Look, another one. First, I thought he just wouldn't, didn't have a leg. Signage on the farm model points to Petro Camp. Machine controls an injection system for. Stimulants, hormones, something. Fire department search stamp right here. City South, perfect. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Don't see Randy anywhere. But he was in the middle of taking a kid when he got shot, wasn't he? That's why a body fell out of the vehicle. Did they say if that guy died? Or if he was saved? To Mike. Hey, the illuminated towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. I'm not so sure, River. I think we ought to explore a bit more. Let's go with your gut. Can you give the controls back, game? That's gotta be all she wrote in this one, V. That was weird. I had to wait like 30 seconds for them to say a bunch of Probably random right. lines. Okay. And they wouldn't give me, they, would, they took my controls away. There we go. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. What did you do? You put something in his mouth? OK. 
Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that too. Shipping code on the game Randy got from Harris traces out to the Badlands. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. I am curious, like, are, are those towers actually in the environment and you can find them and see them t like change color every hour? Like, are they still around now or are they only there for the premiere of that? <clears throat> but like that entire plot reveal is really undercut by the fact that a moment earlier we just fucking like found a clock and the clock said what time it was. <laughs> So like, what? Why are we basing it on the towers? There's a fucking clock. The clock told us the time. You're overthinking it so hard. Whoa. What's up with my critical? Wait. Hey, this is my gun reticle. Yeah, my it, it thinks my shotgun's out, but I'm not using it. This is a pretty extensive use of the BDs. I was gonna say it's all stuck to the- You just crashed, you fucking idiot! It's all stuck to the, like, the through line of this memory of this cartoon, except the first memory didn't have the cartoon in it, weirdly. It's gotta work. Done more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> if I'd only known sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck. I mean... Every teenager is unhappy and also won't talk to you about it. The period of intense emotions that you like can't escape. Like that's why that that's what they use the it gets better phrase. Hold on, Dude, drive straight. You're you're freaking me out a little bit. What is the what are you doing? Yeah. But that's why people say it gets better, because you just, there's an element of just having to wait through this period where your emotions are so absurdly heightened. Oh! His only reaction was question mark, and I agree. Are you? You okay, River? You you don't you, don't, you want me to drive? I'm concerned. Why are there so many random vans just kind of parked in the middle of the road, not driving anywhere? It just keeps happening. But no, you, you do kind of have to wait out for your hormones and whatnot to level out because they just fuck up your brain. And there's a lot of things like your brain's not fully developed yet, so there's elements of like impulse control and empathy and other things that don't last that long, which means you're they're cruel to each other because you, you, you don't really have a good mental capacity for imagining other people's experiences. But on top of that, everyone's emotions are so heightened. So, in the teenage years, a lot of people are at their most cruel and their most susceptibleness to cruelty. Oh my god. That's, once again, these cars never move like cars. We got it. What'd you, what'd you press the fucking sprint button on your car? What? Look at all these mines. Can I have a gun now? There we go. There we go. I can fix my reticle now. Heads up. Turrets are alive. The system controller All right. must be in the house. Give me a second, I'll just deal with this. A lot of fucking mines. Dude, that guy's kind of lucky he didn't get out. He would have like he might have crawled right into one of these. Anybody else? 
Oh, there's a lot of them. That's the main path, at least. Oh, not quite. Okay, they're hard to aim at, at this range. Hey, fuck you. What, are you not taking damage? The oh, lights are up. What the fuck is wrong with my gun? Why wouldn't it hurt it? Ah, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I said stop it. You're being very rude. What the fuck? It's magic. That's... You're breaking the... What the fuck? His jacket's floating. What is happening? <laughs> Why was there a floating jacket over him? All right, I guess this is the scripted story bit where you have to like sneak and you can't fight the turrets even though you can in literally every level of the game. I love when games just fucking stop following their own rules at arbitrary points and just expect you to understand that. If you're going to be some scripted bullshit, the least you can do is at least explain to me, hey, we're doing some scripted bullshit where you're not allowed to do the thing you normally do where you shoot things. Shooting doesn't work this time, uh, so it's better to be stealthy. Like, at least fucking break the fourth wall and explain to me when you're gonna break the rules, so at least I can react to that fact. It's fucking bullshit to have magic, unfightable turrets in a game full of completely fightable turrets. Manipulation easier than you think. Uh oh, oh no. The most fundamental yet effective manipulation technique is what we call undermining. For the manipulator to get to the target, the target to do what he or she wants, the target must first accept the manipulator's opinion as true or valuable. This is easiest to achieve by making the target feel inferior through harsh criticism. The more accurate, the better. The target will begin to yearn for praise through the manipulator, becoming more open to cooperation, that is, manipulation. The joy of influence. Five simple rules. This is the gross idea that he got all of his talents by just doing like self-help books and advice books for fucking with people. Exude authority. Speak with conviction. In absolutes. And never, ever lose confidence in yourself. Practice the rule of recipro reciprocity. Make sure people always feel like they owe you something. Be available. Make sure, make yourself seem like a very busy person whose time is more valuable than theirs. Even a meeting is a sacrifice. Demand engagement. Remember, if a client is forced to give you enough attention, backing out will be even harder. Make them like you. People will like people like people who are similar to them. Never forget it. You doing alright, buddy? I see your jacket's still on this time, so that's nice. How is this bush growing in here? You lived like this, dude? Why is your house like this? I'm just so crazy, man. I didn't mean to do this. Loading. Reflection. Wow, I'm beautiful. Consciousness curse. Man dies the way he was born. Soft, weak, and helpless. 
Death, the one certainty in this universe of chaos, can be both a tragic end and a release from suffering. It can come as an unexpected twist or as a beautiful crowning counterpart to a life live well lived. <laughs> Whoops. The curse we face as humanity, the only living, living beings in constant awareness of death, is our inordinate focus on the fact. How much happier is the life of the gazelle that escapes the cheetah's clutches, thinking that it evaded death once and for all, and that the poor soul living out his days knowing each st step itches him closer to the void? Yep, this should do it. With this brain dance kit, you're able to play old commercial brain dances formatted on compatible data storage media. For safety and certification reasons, this device should never be modified or tampered with in any way. Should you have technical questions or concerns, please cons contact an accredited technician. If used in ways other than those designed, personal injury and damage of the device will occur. Please retain the following information in the event the device is put up for resale or given to a third party after purchase. Um. Nah. Not really worth reading, is it? Reaching out to Quasar Seeker. Hello. I am happy to see. I'm happy you signed up for my help program. I'd like to learn more about you. What's your name? What's been bothering you? It really matter? I'm nobody. I'm a zero. Nobody cares about me, but thanks for pretending to anyway. Give me a chance. Whatever. I'm Sean. We're thinking about death a lot lately. How nothing really matters, and why I even try. My folks don't want me to be don't want me to be an embarrassment, but I'm a piece of shit, so fuck me, right? I keep fucking up and trying harder is just more miserable. Can't even get out of bed most days. So yeah, I guess that's it. Let me help, Sean. I know how to solve every one of your problems. You're worth more than you think. Trust me. Hello. You asked in the application if this is for all for real. I can assure you, Ray Ray Bongo, it absolutely is. Let's take the next step, and you'll see for yourself. Of course, before I can help you, it'd be better if we got to know each other first, don't you think? My name's Tony. And you? Fuck off, Tony. Hello. You have nothing to worry about. Everything you say stays between us. First, tell me a little about yourself. Oh, was this the first email they were told to delete? Nothing to tell. My dad's dead. I live in a shithole with my mom, bro, and sis. And I got an amazing girlfriend who's wasting her time on me. I have a cop uncle who still wants to make something out of me. Yeah, good luck. Not that we talk much these days anyways. What else? Oh, I'm poor. And a fucking waste of air and space. At least my dad had a respect. I got nothing. Can't even afford any chrome. Only thing I did get lately was my ass beat by my chooms. My mother wanted to flatline herself once, so I can't talk to her about anything or I'll be the reason she slits her wrists. Hard to see how things get any worse, but even harder to see how they get better. My life's a fucking cosmic joke. The first step to improving your life is acknowledging where it has failed. Good news is that first step is already behind you. I've... in your shoes before. I know how you feel, and I know how to help. Let me in. Open up, and everything will be fine in no time. You'll see. Hello. I'm thrilled to hear you overcame your illness. That tells me how strong you are inside. But it's always good to have the strength of others to support you too. Your rehabilitation is the next step on the road to healing. You've already healed your soul. Now let me take care of your body. Together, I know we can't fail. Is that guy dead, sir? Um.
None of these actually helped me disable the security, actually. Huh. Whoa. What kind of night nightmare pistol is that? Ooh. Apparently this is the back of a fucking vending machine. What the fuck? Try disabling the defense system, then haul ass to the barn. Here we go. Understanding your teen. The teenage years are truly the most difficult period in a person's life. Not only is it time of just gonna repeat what I said earlier. Not only is it a time of enormous hormonal changes to the brain, but also a time of searching for one's identity. The teen starts to seek out authority figures outside the family, most oft uh, often among his or her peers, but also among celebrities, rocker boys, even fixers or mercenaries. To become an authority figure to teens, all you really need to do is have a unique style, maybe throw in a few nice phrases criticizing the system, and most importantly, convince the teenager that you, and only you, understand. I perfectly understand everything that you've been through. Tinkerbell. Oh. On one hand, it's useful to have a non-lethal weapon. On the other hand, it's really fucked up to use a weapon that you got from this mission. The one about kidnapping and murdering children as your future like go-to. Netwatch. Same messages. Alright, should be good to go. You should be pretty fucked. Sometimes I sometimes I just, just heal because I want my health bar to go away. Juice, top eight dangers. Juice, the animal's favorite drink, a miracle elixir, the dream come true of every scrawny twig limbed skeletor that dreams of having boulders and chesticles. But is it safe? Boulders and chesticles? Apparently it poses particular problems for men. Eight problems to be exact. Here are the top eight dangers of using juice. Eight, temporary increase in sexual ability followed by a sharp decline. Men are also at risk of priapism, perpetual erection. S sounds shimra, but it could be painful. Shimra? Is that a good, is that supposed to be a good word? Seven. Gynecomastia. Enlarged breasts, often irreversible. Six. Balding of the head, but increased hair growth on the chest, back, stomach, and legs. Five. Changes in your skin, such as acne on the face and shoulders. Five. Kidney problems caused by increased protein content in urine. Kidney scarring may be an indication of focal segmental word. Glomer... Glomerulosclerosis. <laughs> 3. Muscles may grow asymmetrically, often leading to muscle weave tearing. Uh. 3. Prostate cancer. It'll hurt every time you take a piss. Also... Cancer. I feel like you kind of buried the lead there. One, and finally the winner, liver failure resulting in jaundice and pruritic rash, and even fibrosis and cancer of the liver. Still interested? Not scared of the risks? Well then, good luck and see you in the hospital. Gotta get that juice. Damn it. Locked up tight. Need to find another way. Fine. I'll be fine. Fuck. 
How long have they been unattended here? Are any of these people alive? Too late for this one. Is he dead? What is it? What's being pumped into them? Breathing. Good. Just hold on a bit longer. He's here. Ready. He's hanging in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy. 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it. Oh, and watch for automated defenses on site. They're substantial. Hurry, gotta shut it off. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Alive. Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy there. Hey, you're all right now. He's not moving at all. That was a weird easy there. No reaction whatsoever. Uh oh. Is it going down their throat? What is that? A few days already. Hey, help me with Randy. Okay, fuck that other kid. Apparently. Put that gun away, it's going through your head. We did it, River. Yep, we sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. Every single person is so driven by revenge in this game to the point where this guy's gonna strangle a coma patient that's probably never gonna wake up. Like... He... he was it? This, a bullet to the cerebral cortex? Like, that's pretty... That seems pretty done. Do what you gotta do. Kill him. Spare him. Just one request, River. What's that? Leave me out of it. Had my fill of this case. Not willing to see this through with me. Helped you, because it was about your nephew. That's over. So enough. Too bad. Thought we'd take this to the end together. But it's alright. I'll handle it. You, ne you need my help strangling a coma patient? Is this a thing you need? What? Really aim to do it. They'll catch you. No, they won't. I'm... That is, I was a detective, remember? I know how to cover my tracks. You're the number one suspect, like, really, really obvious suspect. Best look, then. See each other around? Probably. Eventually. Need a little time to myself for now. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it. And hollow if you need anything. Oh shit. 
not good. This is a bad time for malfunction. We're in a we're literally in a minefield right now. Wow. Hey, trauma team. Good thing you're here. Oh fuck, they're gone. Uh huh. Oh, the mines the mines are probably still out there. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. Really? I'm a little impressed, Night City. Nothing comes close to as bad as this in eight years. Just I I honestly just thought the city was worse than that. Like way worse. Like when we, oh, that box is freaking out. When we saw this happen, I was like, that's pretty fucked up, but kind of what I would, it's kind of like par for the chorus for what I thought this town was kind of like. I feel like we've had enough, I don't know, we've had a few really bad things already. Maybe that person just got lucky so far. Doesn't know how fucky things get all over the place. We still have a few, there's still a lot waiting to get done. There's a ever cascading series of side quests that kind of layer on each other. Let's close this one out with something easier though, because we we don't have that much time left. But we doop doop. I guess that one maybe, or that one. A hologram? No, my friends. It's Let's go do an itty bitty quest. I'm glad we hit the point where there's just, like, actually good content. I guess it was a mistake to get distracted by any of the side stuff in, at all. And instead, you should just play the main story. V, the basilisk. It's ready. Woo! Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Ain't she a beauty? Drop by the camp, still sent to her justice. So that's the basilisk. God damn. I did not say to track that quest though. I guess saying that you, I guess saying yes. I guess saying you're busy doesn't track the quest, and saying that you'll come over does track the quest. Oh, is this a cyber psycho? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make her drink. Now, I've been trying to work with Iris Tanner for years, but the stubborn mare always brushes me off. Kind requests, the promise of good pay, none of it helped. Always the same response. I don't do biz with fixers. But today she has changed her tune. <laughs> and why? She's been kidnapped by wraiths. Pettiness aside, if you help her, I bet she will finally toss me a bone. The gig details are attached. Go fetch V. Infiltrate mission. You see how silly my fucking look how silly my silhouette looks. His weird little dangly arms that are perfectly spaced out away from his body. Like he's always so cautious and weird. <laughs> Something's really wrong with those arms. Okay, oh, okay, let's go back to infiltrating. My actual job. You don't see me. Who sees me? Gig, no fixers. Music freaked out, but no one saw me. So that's a little weird. God damn it, line of sight.
That's a big chaotic spot, isn't it? Mark you. Mark you. You. Oh, the trash is going through it. They just kind of jammed this thing into the side of the trash hill, hoping you wouldn't look at it directly. But I did. I always do. I don't like it when people take away my shoes. That her? You've always got a choice. A, you can get these motors burned. Or B, get led to the brain. Think about it. Well, that was awkward. I was gonna take this him out. Long enough. But then I was Tanner. I'm supposed to get you out of here. They didn't hurt you? No, we were still in the negotiation phase. They made a pretty solid case, so it was only a matter of time. Push came to shove, I'd rather slave under Raffin than be chopped into little pieces. We'd best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast, this ride of yours. No, it wasn't the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast either. Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. Oh boy. We'll see how things play out. I guess I'm going more violent than expected. <clears throat> Order. 1377, Maddie, G batteries, check. Eh, that doesn't sound interesting. Purple. Message from Kojo to Iris Tanner. No. We have two turned Galenas for repairs. Collision damage at our place. Why me? Don't you have your own mechanics? Our mechanics... Our mechanic also has collision damage. Can't work at the moment. And you're the cheapest. The cheapest. Seriously, is that all you've heard about me? Yes. No fixer fee, right? You work alone. We like that. As long as you're good enough. Oh, hi. <laughs> he was just there. He's mine! No, you're dead. That's the last piss of your life. Oopsie. It's a good thing they don't notice gunshots around them. 20,000 damage?! You don't think that's a little excessive? I like how I'm getting stealth points while standing straight up. Hmm. There you go. Gotta keep those cold blood mods going. Fuck, it's gonna wear it out. <sighs> there you go. It almost reset, but I made it. I'm working on it. There, all the turrets are gone. Now your ride's safe, and also I got a bunch of cold blood experience. It's right here, probably. Got somewhere else to be. Is it worth more than your life? Probably. Hey. But I'm not so much of a mood to explain. I'll just get some shut eye, if you don't mind. There you go. I stop talking about your car and get in here. Loop. Oh, oh, oh. For a second there, I thought they were going to fail me getting the ride. It's like, no, I... I just took out the turrets in front of it. Did you want it to get shot? It's wet out. Look at that shine. That pretty, but also strangely uniform shine. What? 
What did I hit? Uh. Listen, I just didn't want to take the road because it wasn't going straight. I've got time to save and places to be. Hurt. Did I see a legendary here? Nope. What's going on here? Hey, buddy. I just got stealth points for that. I just want to be clear about that. Job's done. What job? I don't know. Anyway. Back, back in the car, Iris. <laughs> Don't you love finishing quests on accident? <laughs> Without knowing even what the quest is. And then getting a stealth points for shooting something in the face with a shotgun and without any attempt at stealth. Video games. Okay, what did I... That bush? That bush is impenetrable, apparently. Okay. did it. Jemai, brother. Dakota, Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. She's not crazy about fixers. No horse likes its saddle until it's hungry. Only horse you've ever seen is in a picture book. Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Just make sure you get what she owes you. V has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. Yes? Talk to me. Huh. Well. I thought nomads were always on the move, but you stayed put. Yes. They call us statics, but we are also necessary. Somebody must take care of those who come and go. Yeah, take care of them for the right cut. Indeed. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here, huh? Oh, contraire, if you use your eyes and ears. This is an ecosystem. Nomads, Raff and Shiv, corporations and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. That's rare, having a moment where you actually turn in, like you, you deliver the person to the fixer. You, you actually have almost no reason to ever meet these fixers in person, since you never even introduce yourself to the begin them in the first place. So I was like, oh shit, we're actually meeting her, there she is. And also, it's so hard to tell what content matters, because this gives me a vibe of, like, she seems like she might be a reoccurring character I just introduced myself to, and there's gonna be more quests later. And it's like, I don't... How would I... How do I know the quest matters? If I'm right about that, even. Because it seemed like a random nonsense quest, like, oh, no, go in, get the thing, and they're like, well, thanks, V, anyway, bye, and this will never come up again. But maybe that's the beginning of a quest chain? I just picked it up on a whim. I just, I wish they, uh, separated the more meaningful content in a more obvious way, so you could find it all. Because at some point, I think most players just get kind of tired of, you know, the nonsense. Mm -hmm.